Welcome to Match Fishing in Spain. My name's Ian Brown. Uh, that's my new van, first of all. And I'm here at El Bosque. Uh, and I'm on the old, well, 8 to 16, I say old. This is Peg 8. So if you look at it now, well, we used to be up and down great big steps. We're virtually level. Uh, I don't particularly like this bit myself. It's too wide. It's 16 metres wide in most places. But they've flattened all this lot out perfectly. So there's loads of room where you can put a bit of hardcore in. So you can get your cars down, you can go right down to the end. Uh, I'll walk a bit further. Uh, this is peg nine. So yeah, a couple of steps down, one step maybe. But there's certainly a lot, lot better. You can now get your pole at the back, which you couldn't get before at all. You couldn't get anywhere. So we've got all this for parking your cars. Not a single person fishing it today, which I'm amazed at. Uh, it's peg 10. And vice versa, it goes right up to peg 15. But on these pegs, as you look across, all the fish tend to congregate in the reeds. So, not ideal. Well, it is, you can fish the feeder, but it takes some doing all in the pole at 16 metres all day long, as we know, as we all know. Uh, I'm going to have a look at the other bit, because they've dug a new bit out, I'm going to go and have a look at it now. Right, so here we are now, we're at Peg, I think this is 33, it might be 34. Uh, much better this bit, it's nowhere near as wide, it's about 12 metres wide, 12 and a half. Ah, this is 34, and you've got this little bit of a channel at the back. And then you look at this bit here, uh, it's filled in the channel, and digging this out uh, not sure how he's going to do it or what it's going to be like like soft underfoot scooped out a bit of a ditch all the way down there I'm not sure what that's for but it's cleared some here maybe they're going to go down to that level they're looking for clay you see they found clay though that's on a bed of clay though and it goes all the way down. I'm not sure how far it goes down. Uh, without getting up to the eyeballs in rubbish. But it goes a fair way down here. Uh, it's basically all he's done here is really taking all the crap off the top. He's not started digging it. But he's dug down the side here. And whether that's going to be the depth. I don't know, I don't know what it is really. But you can see where I am. Uh, we're, we're sort of, we're going level now with pegs 17 to 25, but we're a hell of a long way away from 17 to 25. So he's just been down here with a digger. And it goes for a hell of a way. So, unless this is just going to be the path, I don't honestly know, to tell you the truth. I think that was a snake then. You know, trials and tribulations and uh, walking about in Spain. Hmm. Had to keep my eyes peeled. And then you get into another bit here. Oh, I know where we are. We're back now. 
towards where you come in. Uh, somewhere over there where you come in. So, I'm not sure what he's doing here. Really. But it's certainly gone a long way around here in this channel. I mean, this is rock hard where I am now. I've never been down this bit before. But this is obviously his land. And I think Dig is just driven in here. And this takes us eventually to a little channel which I'll show you and this is the main water source doesn't look so sparkling there but it is a main water source and that goes all the way around to peg 40 and at that end if you look down there now is peg 17 so if I was to walk that way now only about 100 yards you get to peg 17 so whether he's going to swing it round he says he's not but it looks like that with a digger I'm not 100% sure what he's going to do but he says there's going to be between 12 and 14 pegs on here so it's going to make a hell of a difference and he's going to he's just going to use it for matches so looks really good uh, We'll see what he does. When he's going to dig it out, I don't know. But he certainly made a start. Well, this is the new 17 to 25. And see the same here. Masses of room. Loads and loads of room. A bit of a match on today. Uh, best is Bill Reed up there. I think he's had about 15 carp. Which is uh, pretty good. And this is the man, the myth, the legend. Mr. Richard Woods, aka Tricky. And he's into a fish. Oh, that's lucky. What is it? Mm, looks like a carp of some description. This is my first Oh. I just thought I was just Good lad. Before they altered all this, this was the best peg. But now the water comes in up there near where that boat is. And it seems to have cleared the water up quite a bit. And it's never really fished since. As he say, he's been fishing now quite some while and that's his first fish. Hopefully it'll improve. Right, so I'm on uh, one to seven. They're not really breaking many pots, really. I think the best is eight to nine. That's Bob. I think he's had nine. Next to him's Keith. He's had nine. And then this is the uh, Richard King. I'm not sure how many he's had. He'd had seven or eight. I think last time I was up there. Just fishing the feeder, and that's Danny. He's...
Yeah, fucking fish single maggot and that was fucking 26 to 40. Fucking hell. They're all a fucking inch long. <laughs> and they don't fucking register even on this fucking thing. Worth catching though, that size, aren't they?
just walking down now to peg 20. Nick Bastock, and I've been watching him from the other side, he's been catching like mad. This last half hour, he's had at least three or four. Looks like he's been making a meal of them though. Mm. You? I know, I know, you've been catching like mad. Are they big fish? Uh, the thing is, I've had 89 casts, and before that, I'd had six all match. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, I only took it there to have a selfie. Catching, worth catching. It's tricky, I don't know. Oh, tricky's into one. I'll go and see him as well. Yeah, so things have booked up a bit, really. Uh, as Nick says, he's had eight and eight gas. Uh, he's doing really well now. So he's got about 14 fish. I think Bill's got 20 odd fish. I think he'll win it. Uh, on here anyway. And Tricky, God bless his soul. He's at about three, I think he's had. I'm going to wave these first. Eight eighty two.
22 and 72. Hold on. Lifting, no. Oh, that was really <laughs> That's two, though. That's a noise. That's a mirror. Hey. A mirror? Yeah. Oh. Well, what about that? Are you into a brilliant day? 7.30. Yeah, 7.30. Oh, yeah. Can you believe that? I'd have taken that in the beginning of the day. I'd have taken that at lunchtime. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hold on. 